So I believe I got it working finally. But that that's to be seen. Bailey, you better stay away from this thing, it's dangerous. You know it's called safe doesn't mean it is. Most of my ass got locked in here by accident and I died. I can't fit in here I'm too fat, I don't want to say it. There's an evil dubic box. Okay, now we go past once. Stop around here. Okay. And there we go. Ellie, you poop. I'm going to put my fart in there and seal it forever. How about that? That's a pretty cool find, ain't it? I wonder how much one of those would run. I don't even want to know. Considering the handle's fucked up, that's probably why they didn't want it anymore. Like I said, somebody pretty moved, and a lot of elderly people, you know, they have to make ends meet, and this one lady, I think, moved out to a nursing home, and probably had a lot of stuff in there to say, like extra money, or if that was hers, you don't know. I mean, if there's ever a fire or a flood, like she wears in the winter, I mean, I think, I don't know, what would you put in one of them? Any ideas? Probably birth certificate, uh, stuff that can't be replaced, like heirlooms, like my grandmother's rolling pin, because <laughs> I'm going to get a new one someday. I don't want to ever use hers again, because it's getting cracked, and she says it was one of the nicest things my grandpa got her. Well, she probably got her a lot nicer things, but one of the nicest things he ever got her so I probably put that in I don't put my engagement ring in there obviously uh birth certificates medical records stuff of that nature is what you put in them I guess photographs pictures but then if there's ever a fire I got pictures on a wall you shit what you gotta do grab them throw them in there in that length of time or but yeah, they could put your, you don't have a birth certificate, you came from a pet store. I could put a picture of you in there, so I always have it. Your kitten picture, but that's, I know, my little photo album that I have with all the special pictures in it can go in there. One was, I know it's stupid, I got the combination right there, but <laughs> someone breaks in, they're not going to find anything they want in there anyway, so. And then some paintings I've done. So. Anyway, I guess that's what I'll put in there. Some of my artwork and different things and things I don't want to lose if there was a fire, I guess. But I guess that was a good find. It was free. It was downstairs. Shit. Part two of the safe. It finally fixed it. It's just the handle's all jagged up on it, but it opens, obviously. And like I said, there's those moisture pellets in there, whatever those are. Probably have to, I don't normally use it because it stinks the fucking high heavens, but I guess maybe once a year I'll have to have some WD-40 on it or something. Because it says right in there, open often and oil. <laughs> Is that what you use? Grease? Bicycle grease? I don't fucking know. First thing about safes, I think my mother, like I said, my mother has one that belonged to my grandma, like file cabinet or something. I guess everybody should have one. <laughs> a safe. I don't know why I put my life savings in there. Probably should put my uh, life insurance policy and stuff like that. Something happens to my mom in the future. That's what I put in there. That's that guess leave the combination right there. <laughs> there we go. I'll have to. I should laminate that actually, and then staple it on there. That'd be a better idea. If I got a laminator. Yeah, I think I will. And then we'll know where it is. Uh, whatever you want to put in there, if I were you, I'd put your autographed picture of Kiss in there in case there's ever a fighter, too, right? Uh, I Wherever love the fuck you. the hell that went to. I love them. Sure. Sorry I lost my temper, but I was trying to figure that damn thing out. Did you figure it out? Yeah, but the, the handle gets loose, so when it comes off, you have to kind of just wiggle it. So you go like three times, you got to go over. But see, I'm left handed, so I was fucking up. So I had to go on YouTube and look at it. See which way somebody else would turn it to open one. Being left-handed, you know, as a handicap. There's a girl that used to think it was a curse. It had something to do with the devil and shit. 
Now when you start talking about the Dippic box and don't open that box, I was afraid there was something in the safe. No, it wasn't the safe. It was on TV a Ghost. As a demon they box. have to have wood and they have to use wax anyway. They wouldn't be able to put nothing evil in a, a metal safe. Well, these guy, this guy did. And all of a sudden he released the spirit came out and did something. Yeah, it's Jewish. Something to do with the Holocaust. I wouldn't touch one of them. Uh, Only the rabbis are supposed to be the ones to open them. If anybody else does this, it's your fucking doom. I wouldn't play with one of them. Just wouldn't. They're fucking dangerous. There's danger, more dangerous than the Ouija board, actually. Alright? Did you guys open them? There's my demons. I got two coming tomorrow, I think. My Pazuzu and Baphomet. That's it. They're six inches. I still want to get another one of those big 15 inch ones, but if I can find me and Jimmy a nice case for his Funkos and for my, uh, horror movie icons just to have him as that the little ones will go there in case then too you know if you ever want to take them put them together and take them out i'm one of these people that like smaller things and bigger things i think that's weird because like all my little <laughs> nickelodeon things and stuff they're wicked tiny the more smaller they are the more you can fit around the way i figure oh shit i didn't know that was on this whole time I can't even smell that. I think it's had it. I ended up getting some orange candles the other day. With the black. If I can find some more of them. I seen something on Amazon. I had my eye on it. To make like an interesting centerpiece. Even for Thanksgiving. And for Halloween. Like an autumn one. Because I, I wouldn't use these for ritual. I just want it too black for now. Govinda, whatever that company is, sells 36 of them for 16 or 13 or 14 dollars. They're just little six inch tapers. Because tapers are usually expensive. <sighs> but anyway, those orange ones, I thought it'd be kind of cool to mix with a Halloween thing. Maybe I get a couple more sets from that seller. Like that. Make a Halloween or a autumn centerpiece like how I did that last year I don't have a summer one I use the spring and summer in combined with each other I have a separate winter one though I can't put it up on top of my big shelf up there it's damn it's heavy yeah. I think I'll put my ornament too for my grandma in there that I never want nothing to happen to but I mean <laughs> hopefully there would never be a fire because we're seven sto we're six stories up it's a seven story building we're <laughs> Second to the top. <laughs> but I guess that was kind of a cool thing my mother found. And you can't, you can't go wrong with safety items. I mean, if, if housing never gave me an issue with some of my solvents, I'll say, you know what? I'll shove them in there. Then if something happens, they're in there and they're safe. It's what it's called. It's a safe, Bailey. You got to be safe around a safe. That's what they call safe sex. Right there you go.